Cincinnati City Council is trying to learn if they can keep the 4th of July spark alive at Alt Park. But first, council members will be voting Wednesday to approve a study to be done within 30 days. What does that take? What does it take to make this a reality? And we're trying to have that question asked now um, instead of waking up on July 3rd and saying, oh, there's no fireworks tomorrow. Walsh says the findings could be surprising. Cincinnati Parks canceled the fireworks because it says the event became too much for the volunteers. That's an indication that we need more help making sure that we are pulling them off because Cincinnati pulls off big events all the time. You know, uh, but usually they're put on by major entities in the city because they have the capacity to do that. The results could show people need to chip in. Walsh says at this stage, there's no indication it's a monetary problem. Some homeowners next to the park say they'd be okay with it. It's no different than school taxes. You don't send your kids to school. My kids are all in their 40s now. That doesn't mean I don't pay taxes because I'm supporting the future of the city by supporting kids who are currently in school. The fireworks are an annual tradition for the Noga family. She says maybe the city could look into sponsorships. Another neighbor argues the show is like a city event, so it makes sense if the city stepped in. I don't know what, what the problem would be with tax money because people come from all over the place. I mean, you, know, you could tell that they're not just all Mount Lookout people that come to the fireworks. His family has lived a block away from the park for 41 years. The fireworks won't be going out without a bang for him and his street. We always grew up there. Um, I don't think we've ever missed one. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.